Many times you get eggs and you find in the eggs blood, blood, dots of blood. What are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to throw away the egg? Is that something that's mutawa so It says in the halakha that blood in the eggs is not a sur mishum dam. There's no sur dam in eggs. Dam is in behema, in chaya, but not in eggs. So what's the sur with that blood? The sur is that it's starting to produce something there, the chick that's going to grow. So therefore, since it already started, that is starting by the dam, so therefore that's a sur. But today, those uh, blood spots that you find, they're not from something that's starting to grow in there. Why not? Because today they separate the chicken that's from male and female, and they don't put them together in order to make sure that nothing grows in there. They want to sell them. And therefore, everything that you find within those eggs are only protein bloods. Also, the brown eggs, that's much more common to find in them, those spots, these are considered protein spots, and they're not asu. But since there is a isu of maritain, it doesn't look good when you find blood in the eggs. So therefore, the halakha requires you to take away and scoop that spot, that blood spot. Now, Moshe Feinstein writes that today, since eggs are so cheap, they're so, in, they're so inexpensive, so therefore, get rid of the whole egg. Why? What's the logic? If it's not a su, why should you get rid of it? He says because there are some farmers that he found that don't uh, separate the males and the females, and therefore maybe that could be one of them, although you don't have to worry about it halakhically because in halakha we have a concept called the parish miruba parish, whatever you found, since it's separated, so you go after majority, and majority of eggs are from such chickens that were separated <coughs> from their males, and therefore, such a thing would be mutah. By the way, that's called, in halakha, the concept is called safna me'ara, which means she gets the eggs from being, getting warmed by the, by, by the ground, or she sits on the ground. But it doesn't happen from a male partner. And therefore, such an egg will be allowed. So Amosha writes that since it's so cheap, and there is a small, small chance that it came from a male, get rid, from, uh, get rid of that egg. Now, Many poskim allow it completely, like Chacham of Adyab. But he writes that that's in Eretz Yisrael, that eggs have a little bit of value, which means there is some kind of loss keeping, uh, throwing away that egg, and therefore one can just scoop out the blood and get rid of it. Today, I'm not sure if that even uh, common at all, that you would buy from companies that would get from something that even has any small chance that it was together with the male partner. And therefore, one that wants to be Mekel has who to rely on, definitely. And the whole thing will be mutal, even according to Rav He says, it's not me, Karadin. It's just because it's very cheap and there's a small chance. So therefore, get rid of it. So therefore, the Maise, one could allow, just by skipping, scooping out that blood, uh, uh, that over there. One that wants to be Mekel, Rav Moshe says, get rid of that egg. Same thing would be for the brown eggs that you'll find many, many spots in them.